United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number three speaks to ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all, regardless of age, race, location, and income. This underlies the basis of the World Bank's continued efforts to provide assistance to countries moving ahead with UHC implementation. The Caribbean flagship regional knowledge exchange hosted in St. Lucia in October was one such World Bank venture. This was achieved with support from the Korea World Bank Partnership Facility. There's huge amount of opportunities to learn both within the countries and across the countries as well as from Korea. Uh, Korea is not only a knowledge champion, but it's an OECD country with um, very good uh, development uh, outcomes. And we wanted to sort of uh, accelerate your you know, opportunities in growth and, and development. The three-day event also facilitated discussions on hospital sector modernization. This included a tour of St. Lucia's premier facility, the Owen King European Union Hospital, located within the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. The OKEUH was commissioned in 2020 during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. The management of the hospital at the time was celebrated for its ability to transfer services between hospitals without any major glitches or loss of life. We are one of the only islands that has moved a hospital the way that we did, Victoria Hospital into OKEU Hospital. So just based on that experience alone, and remember we spent many years planning that move, um, many years with um, consultants who were brought in to assist us with the logistics. So in terms of that knowledge, particularly in terms of transitioning a hospital uh, to a new state-of-the-art facility where we were um, not uh, not using that level of technical equipment, etc. Performance-based financing is a new financing mechanism being introduced by the World Bank. The project will be piloted in St. Lucia at a number of health facilities around the island. Lessons learned through the implementation of the project will form the structure and implementation of universal health coverage in St. Lucia. The performance-based financing is a very important mechanism, financing me mechanism that propels, you know, uh, changes in provider behave behavior and also quality of care. Uh, we are very proud uh, to be engaged on that. Uh, this is running under the Health System Strengthening Project, mm -hmm. and the PPF is focusing on two diseases, uh, namely uh, hypertension and diabetes mellitus, which are very important because it's uh, causing a huge burden of disease uh, in your country and actually in the region. The Caribbean flagship regional knowledge exchange took its participants on a tour of the Ancillary Wellness Centre as one of the health facilities under the PBF program. Acting Public Health Nursing Supervisor Yasmin Gabriel says she is appreciative of the program and its focus. That particular project seeks to improve what we currently do in terms of the management of persons with type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. We do a number of things, but there are always areas for improvement. So when we consider the objective of the PBF, this is going to help improve what we already do. So we are hoping that we can um, we can improve our services we offer to the client that may be that may extend to blood work that may extend to ekgs that may extend to self management programs that may extend to exercise programs 15 wellness centers located around the island will participate in the pilot project the world bank continues to provide major assistance towards health sector development in the region as the caribbean thrusts towards universal health coverage for the ministry of health wellness and elderly affairs Sant Justin reporting.